how many muscles on the tongue? There are totally how many muscles? Are the single muscle or many muscles are there on the tongue? There are eight muscles are existing on the tongue, right? Vertical muscle, right? Long, longitudinal muscles, superior and then inferior longitudinal muscles, right? Hypoglossal muscles, glossopharyngeal muscles, so on. Totally eight muscles are existing. How many inches of the tongue is there for you, Sri Devi? Sri Nidhi, how many, how many inches of your tongue? 4 inches, 5 inches, 6 inches of your tongue. How many five inches? inches? 5 inches. Wow, you are recorded. Guinness record by the way. <laughs> yes. How many inches of your tongue? 4 inches. Oh, you measure it now. You just call to your son and measure your tongue. Is it really 4 inches? Then you are very walkie-talkie. <laughs> How many inches? 3 inches of our normal tongue shape tongue, from the root to the tip of the tongue. How many inches? I have 3 inches. But if you have 4 inches, 5 inches, then you are very really great man <laughs> or great woman. Right. Which I am talking about the how which is the strongest muscle in our body that to be known as a the facial muscles, specifically the muscles called as a buccinator muscles. Buccinator muscles are the chewing muscles. Right. Which muscles having on the facial region, these muscles called as a buccinator muscles are the strongest muscle in our body. You look into that, there are the, when you wanted to eat the meat, because we are carnivorous or herbivorous? Omnivorous. Yes. So, we eat both vegetable, animal uh, plants, that means is the plant-based food and also animal-based food. We eat both. In this case, the incisors and then molars. Incisors are different from the molars. So, therefore, when we wanted to chew and then we wanted to crush or we wanted to, you know, tear something, so strong teeth is required, right? The tooth which is existing on the anterior side of the face, that is on the incisors, how many incisors we do have? Upper is two and lower is two. Only two to four. So, these incisors are required to strongly tear the something around 25 kgs. Around the molars which we do having, so that is the strongest teeth as well. But however, with the support of the buccinator muscles, you can do it. But that having around nearly say 70 to 80 kgs. So, whatever the strength is there, through that strength we can pull or we can do with the support of the you know, buccinator. So, therefore, which is the strongest muscle in our body? Buccinator muscles. The facial muscles are numerous muscles. The tongue itself is having the eight muscles which is required because the three inches, four inches, but uh, however five inches are rarely we can see. But especially the animals having the long four inches is the longest tongue. If rarely we can see that five inches, but is not that up to that mark. But here we understand when we wanted to see the tongue, the tongue is is according since I am talking about the oozing is the five element theory but generally the all the internal organs are connected to the tongue region because there is the different parts of the tongue is there those tongues are connected how the pulse diagnosis pulse we can see each and every organ is reflecting on the radial artery and the different positions that position called as a quan chi and then chuan that he means is the uh, distal pulse proximal pulse and middle pulse these three are the three divisions and the fourth division to be known as a lian pulse but we have the divisions likewise the tongue also having the different positions different segments all our internal organs are connecting to the tongue region by the way the tongue is 
originally connected to the some sense organ you all know that organ is connected to the which organ heart yes or no the heart is connected to the tongue the lip is connected to the spleen and pancreas so therefore the tongue problem anything the tongue related condition physiologically and then pathophysiologically it is connected to the which organ heart organ by the way all the organs are interconnected to the tongue but in this case when we wanted to understand anything is the tongue trembling is there tremors are there or slurred speech is there aphasia problem apraxia problem speech disturbances stammering conditions all are connected to the which organ the tongue is connected but at the same time the heart also manifestation to the tongue conditions but the beautifully i thanks to we all should say thanks to almighty god who created this these are the muscular organ we chew number of the times how many times we chew multiple times we choose but the that particular time without crushing to the tongue without crushing by the teeth so this works precisely but at the same time the tongue the, the physiological aspect to be known as a two major functions one function to be known as a swallowing of the food that will support at the same time the second to be known as a second to be known as a speech conditions whenever we are talking that time who will going to support the tongue will support with the support of the two muscles and also the two nerves that nerves called as a glossopharyngeal nerve and hypoglossal nerve both are imperative to support for the speech conditions right so therefore we understand the which we do have on the surface of the tongue for example we have the bumps the bumps are required naturally the bumps are required those bumps to be known as a the is a papillae circumvillate papillae filiform papillae foliate papillae fungiform papillae these are the four different types of the papillae are existing on the tongue which is required for the taste purpose yes or no so this is the beauty of our tongue when i take about the especially for the pulse diagnosis that particular time i'll try to teach you how it is amazing how it is interconnected by looking the tongue over here you understand the, in the short and sweet i'll give you some tips to you so that in easily from today now itself you can understand to diagnostic purpose for the tongue is what condition we can analyze when the person having the coating is different but however i wanted to tell you the cracks the crack is there on the midline of the tongue when ask them to open to the patient how to open the tongue just first initiative to understand once open the mouth not open the tongue ask them to open the mouth ah uh, ah uh. once they open the mouth you try to understand the two concepts internally that to be known as the outer edges of the tongue you just see so what kind of the sensation what kind of the the marks are there on the tooth that's called as a, the tooth indentation when you will going to open your tongue and bring outside ah you cannot see the tooth marks precisely when the tongue is there inside of your mouth that time you understand precisely when the tooth indentation how the marks are there the tooth marks like that you can see on the tongue region on the borders of the tongue the lateral side both the sides you can see that indicating of course is the liver related problem if i go for the deeper level i'll talk more otherwise i'll end up with this slide itself in the uh, noon but however the outer edges to be known as a tooth marks are there then you understand since how long you do have the headache then you also have the fatty liver as well simple way i'll take you to understand because this is one thing is really important so that you can make the impression to the patient that you are diagnosed precisely good right number 1 number 2 to be known as a there is a crack on the there is a crack on the 
central line of the tongue the mid line of the tongue especially on the i think tongue is there on the i think in our uh, laboratory i think tongue so you just see on the center line of the tongue that tongue is crack is there that indicating you just ask two things you keep it in your mind forever that to be known as a you you just ask to the patient directly since how long do you have the back pain they'll atonishing to say since how do you know that by looking my tongue itself right so on the crack is there on the tongue that indicating you do have the back pain as well so there is a center of the tongue to be known as a back pain there is a crack on the anterior part of the tongue anterior part of the tongue you have the crack on the center line that indicating that indicating you do have the problem with the pulmonary system we can say since how long do you have the lungs related issues as well when there are the three lines are there on the tongue on the lungs region that indicating tuberculosis as well right there are the three lines on the uh, one two three on the central line lateral and then lateral line so that indicating sometimes tuberculosis as well but don't ask directly did you have before perhaps is tb related issues previously or family history family history they do have we can ask them right then this is the the central line that is also to be known as a we can uh, we can consider that do you have the problem in the stomach region as well you have the git related disorders gastric related disorders when the tongue in exactly on the center of the tongue there is a crack is there also indicating stomach heat get excessiveness also leads to that problem is yes or no